Ooh, that smells bad. So I'm super excited, but also scared because in today's video, we are going to be doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Now, I think I got a full face. Their, their sectioning was a little all over the place, so I, it was hard to decipher which ones I still needed. We're going to do attempt to do a full face as long as I have a full face. So I have you have you nice and zoomed in because we're going to be starting with eyes first. I got the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow. It's a 12 color eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade, or this is the palette Trendy. So I figured we can do a smoky eye. I still don't know why palettes come with these little things because those are just garbage. I'm going to start off with this shade right here and I'm just going to use that to set my eyelids. So with this nice fluffy brush I'm going to go all of these shades just look the same color so it's like super hard to like decipher which color I want to go in with. So I'm going to take this bottom shade right here I'm just going to apply that in my crease. I mean, she has a little bit of color payoff. And then on, I don't know what, this is a three mini tapered blending brush from Farah. Oh, it just kind of looks like this. I'm going to go in with the shade next to it, which is more of a chocolate brown. I'm just going to blend that into the crease as well. I mean, this shade is definitely better than the other shade. This one's definitely a lot more pigmented. I'm not too mad about that. And I'm just going to I'm just going to go back in with the first shade and blend that together. And I feel like they blend decently nice. I mean, I can't really complain too much. It's $1.25. And then next, I'm going to go in with this black shade on, it's kind of like a fluffy tapered brush. I'm going to apply that all over the lid. I mean, to be fair, for $1.25 black, that ain't too bad. Okay, right, so now I'm just going to do the other eye off camera, I'll be right back. Now I did the most pigmented shadows, definitely not. But if you're on a budget or you're a beginner and don't want to spend a ton of money on makeup, I mean, it's not too bad, it gets the job done. So next I'm going to try their Dramatic Black Mascara. This is Ioni, Instant Volume and Thickness. That's a big tube. Oh, she is not gonna work on bottom lashes. She is thick. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I mean, it's definitely not a bad mascara for $1.25. I can't really hate on it too much. It separates the lashes really nicely. Now, I definitely want to use this again, just because A, I have better mascaras, and B, the, the how big this wand is, just, it just, I can't, because I can't really, it's hard to get into like the inner corners of your eye, because then you're gonna hit like, get mascara over here. But I like that the formula isn't too wet, and it's not too dry, it's like a nice in-between. On to face. I have two products. I have this one's new, so I had to get it. I was intrigued. It's the LA Colors Face Mist Refresher Hydrating Formula. It's oh, guava scent. I thought this was watermelon scented. And I also have the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer. It's supposed to blur your face. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E in it. She's so tiny. Like this is like perfect travel size. That is powerful. It feels really nice on the skin, I will say that. This smells not too overpowering. Next, we're gonna try the blurring primer. It just comes in a little squeezy tube. I guess we'll start off with that at first. I wasn't expecting it to be like such a bright pink. Oh, she's thick. And when I go for primers, I definitely do like to go for more blurring and pore filling primers just because I have very large pores on my cheeks. Well, in my T-zone in general. That did absolutely nothing for my pores. Maybe like a teensy tiny bit it filled them in, but other than that, she didn't do much like that. That was definitely worth $1.25. And then, so next we have, I actually found foundation in like fair because usually they never have any fair but this is the another be pure hydrating tinted moisturizer has hyaluronic acid works as a light foundation and acts like a hydrating moisturizer moisturizer just what she looks like so i'm assuming since this is a tinted moisturizer it's not gonna have much coverage or any coverage at all feels very cooling but that's probably because it was in a cold room Like the consistency of it, she was pretty thick. 
I might have put on way too much. Wow, maybe I actually am tanner. Oh Lord. Oh Lord have mercy. I mean, she's got some coverage on her. She covered that pimple pretty decently. Oh my God. I put on way too much. I feel like something like this would definitely be better with a sponge because with a brush, you could definitely see the sh like brush streaks. I mean, it's definitely not too bad. It definitely has some sort of like very light coverage, like very, very, very light coverage, but like it evens out your skin nicely. Like it's not too bad. For $1.25, I can't really complain too much. And then next I'm going in with the, the it's another Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer with hyaluronic acid as well. Now since it's a serum, I'm gonna assume this probably is not gonna have coverage. And this is the lightest shade I could find and it's gonna be a lot darker than my foundation. I was about to put that in with my brushes. I mean, I think it has like very, 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 very light coverage to it. Now, would I run to the dollar store to go get this? Hell no. But like I said, if you're on a budget, you're just starting out makeup, it wouldn't be too bad to just use to practice with. So I guess I'm going to try out this makeup stick. It's an LA Colors. It's supposed to be a multi-use three-in-one lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow. This is the only thing I could find for blush. So I was like, I guess I'll try this out. I don't even know how I want to apply this because I know I know if I just apply it onto my makeup, it's gonna, oh, so she's a little glossy. I mean, she's not bad. Oh, I mean, there's actually some color on that. That's actually not bad. Unless that's just leftover color on my brush, which could very well be the case. I'm just gonna try to do something here. I mean, that's actually kind of pretty. I'm gonna try to put it, I'm gonna try to apply it onto my face. It doesn't seem like it's actually lifting up my foundation. I don't know, am I weird for like, actually like really liking this? Like, I think it's actually kind of like cute. For powder, going to go in with the Infuse, it's another Be Pure. The Infuse Pressed Face Powder provides smooth matte finish, sets makeup and controls shine, and it's green tea infused. This, what the hell is this? Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Dude, <laughs> this is a bad day to wear a black shirt. Oh, I never freaking wanted the concealer on my goddamn pimple down here. It straight up smells like that super, super like cheap kids makeup. Like that you get in like the little play sets. I mean, I feel like it definitely modifies your face. Because this side isn't set yet and then that side is. Is there gonna be a lot of flashback? Probably. So all in all, I mean, it did as it claimed to do. It did mattify the skin. It does feel smooth. I don't feel like I'm wearing a bunch of powder which is nice but all in all that blush is still my favorite and for bronzer i picked up this is new and improved it's the la colors powder bronzer uh, it's a sun kiss glow so i assume there's gonna be shimmer in it and it's in the shade baked this is just what she looks like i like the design in it it's definitely very orangey which i like in a bronzer so that's good oh my lord it's definitely pigment it looks like She's definitely pigmented, which wouldn't be bad if it was blendable. But it's not blendable. Now I gotta match this side. It's not blended nowhere. She's she's staying like that. So I mean it's not bad. But it just doesn't blend. Like I like the color. The color is nice. I don't like the uh, glitter that's in it, but like it just it just doesn't blend. It doesn't blend. I can't be mad about it. It's a dollar twenty-five, but like it just doesn't blend. And then for setting spray, I got the Le Mercerie. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not French or Italian, whatever. Favorite Essentials Collection, the Matte Finish Setting Spray. It's formulated with shea butter and organ oil, but it's mattifying. I feel like shea butter and organ oil kind of reminds me of moisture. Cause like if your hair is dry, they tell you to put like argan oil and stuff on it. So I don't know. So cute, look how cute she is. I actually like the packaging, like with like the rose gold detailing. That's really great. It smells kind of good. Won't really be able to tell how mattifying it is since I oof, put that powder down. You know, that might, now that my face is set, it actually really doesn't look that bad. Like I really, I, I actually really don't mind the way that my base looks. I need to do my eyebrows, oh my God. But like, 
I really don't mind how the base looks. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky after spraying that. I don't think it was mattifying because like there's a sheen on my face, but I'm not mad about it. I got three lip products here. I have a Flower Beauty one, Flower Beauty, not booty. Another LA's Roller Lip Gloss in Coconut. It's a scented formula, nourishing, nourishing and hydrates lips. I just got this because like, I'm pretty sure I had this like way back. I don't know. Roller lip glosses just brings me back to my childhood and I just, I, it makes me happy. And then this is a new Make Me Up Plumping Lip Gloss. It's, infu it's infused. It's infused with almond oil and, I don't know how to pronounce it, Je Jehovah, Jehovah seed oil, but it was plumping, so it was like, hmm. Kinda wanna try it out. Cause I don't think I've ever actually tried a plumping lip gloss before. It smells all right. I feel like all these things just smell the same. Kinda tastes good. Isn't it supposed to like getting like tingly? Like isn't that like the point of like the plumping lip glosses is for your lips to feel tingly? Cause I don't feel nothing. Or is it gonna hit me when I least expect it? Kinda tastes good though. I ain't feel no tingliness. Did that leave? I feel like it kinda left a little, a little color on my lips. It's starting to feel cooling. It took her a little while, but I feel coolingness now. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer to see if I feel tingliness. I'm playing tingling this. So we're gonna try this Flower Beauty. It's a Miracle Matte Lip. Um, and it's in the shade Spice Ginger. That is perfect for the fall time. I've never tried anything Flower, Flower Beauty before. It just has like a flat doe foot, which I actually kind of like these. Ooh, ooh. This is the first thing that I smelled that smells incredible. <laughs> So with these, you're definitely gonna wanna use a lip liner, but the only lip liners that they had there, but the only lip liners that they had there were um, purple. I really am not a lip person, and without a lip liner, this um, this is very hard to apply. So um, this color also is not for me. So we've seen this color. I'm going to take this off and put a gloss on it because this 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 is giving me this is giving me jump scares when I look in the viewfinder and I do not like it so I mean the color on this was super pretty the formula I like the formula I wasn't gonna dry matte because I did have the plumping gloss underneath just wasn't it just wasn't me it wasn't me I had to take it off so I'm going to try the roller lip gloss mm, it smells like coconut I liked applying that because like the, the the roller ball since it was metal was cooling so it felt nice to apply so this is the finished look I don't think it looks too bad. I honestly, I honestly don't think it looks too bad. Like if I walk up to you in the streets, like would you just automatically assume that all this is from the dollar store? I kind of think she looks good. I didn't get any eyebrow products because they only had light shades there and a blonde isn't even gonna show my eyebrows. Plus I don't feel my eyebrows like that anymore. I just use a gel. I think she looks pretty good. Like I wouldn't be uncomfortable going out shopping with this on my face. And I'm a little surprised. I will say all in all, my favorite product definitely, my favorite product is definitely this little like blush lipstick shadow stick thing. Actually, there's dog hair already in it. I don't think it's gonna do much because I had gloss on. I mean, she added like a nice little pink touch to her. But this, 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 I actually really liked this. This surprised me very much. Everything else, I like, everything else can just go in the garbage. <laughs> The bronzer, the bronzer doesn't blend. It was definitely pigmented. I like the color of it, but it just doesn't blend. The eyeshadow, the colors I tried, it's not a bad palette for $1.25. So if you're starting off makeup, like this isn't too bad and you wanna do just very like neutrals. I think there's a lot of, cause you got a mix of warm and cool shades in here. So like this, this wasn't bad. It blends nicely, not super pigmented, but it does the job. This, I probably won't ever wear again. The color is nice, it smells really good. I like the application, but it's just, I'm not, I'm not, it's not for me. This was nice. I like the metal roller ball because it feels cooling on the lips and it gives you like a nice, a nice like gloss, but it's not sticky or anything like that, which I really like. This I'll probably actually use again. It smells good. The sprayer on it, as well as the setting spray, the sprayer on it is definitely very aggressive. The spray is definitely very fine, but it's just, 
it's good. You right in the face, okay? It smells good. This one actually is really nice. It didn't mattify as much as I thought it would, which I'm fine with because I'm not really a big fan of her super matte setting sprays. My battery's about to die, so I gotta hurry up. Mascara, I would never use this again. It's not bad. It definitely coats your eyelashes. I don't think it makes it super dramatic. I don't think it really, it, it's not, I mean, unless it means like dramatic black, that it's super black. Like, yeah, it's black, but the wand is definitely just, like, this is just way too big. Bottom lashes, it's gonna get all over the place. I wasn't even gonna try. Concealer, wasn't too bad. If you're just looking for like a nice, like, washy color, it was definitely like very, very light coverage. Ten, I mean, it does say serum in it. It wasn't too bad. It felt nice. This this didn't do no plumping. This is the plumping. It didn't do no plumping. It definitely felt really cool on the lips. It felt nice. It wasn't sticky or anything, which I did like that. Like this, you may as well just give this to your kid because it smells like a kid's toy. Um, it does mattify. It's like maybe for like doing for like touch-ups and stuff. This would probably be good for touch-ups, but I'm sure there's probably a lot of flashback with that. It's definitely super powdery, super white, but it does the job. It does the job. And then this primer didn't do anything. It did not blur nothing because I can still very much see my pores through my foundation. I have way better, but I mean, $1.25, whatever. And then this, the tint and moisturizer, it wasn't too bad. It definitely feels hydrating on the skin. It doesn't really give you much coverage. I mean, there's a little bit of coverage there, but it is a tint and moisturizer, so it doesn't advertise it's having full coverage. But for $1.25, isn't too bad. Like, if you don't have super like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that and this wouldn't be too bad for you if you just look for a tinted moisturizer that's affordable and like you don't need the coverage you just want like a nice even base this will definitely do it for you but all in all i mean i feel like the dollar store is definitely stepping up the game because some of these products are definitely a hit there's a lot more there that i still haven't tried but i feel like la colors is definitely like the high-end spot of the dollar store because their products are usually always like a hit i think my makeup looks pretty pretty decent for being a dollar 25 each so if you like today's video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe you know this this channel is all for the drugstore and affordable makeup because not everybody has the money to go out and buy luxury stuff from sephora if you like affordable makeup if you like beauty skincare lifestyle anything like that don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>